Welcome to TV Explorers. Hi, fellow travelers. You are watching a Travel Tips episode of KP Explorers with content designed to help you make the most of your family trips. In this video, we will be talking about Club Paradise Island Resort in Coron, Palawan, one of the most beautiful exclusive resorts you and your family can visit in the Philippines. We will be sharing what you can expect for this family adventure and we hope we can help you prepare to make the most of your trip by sharing our Club Paradise experience. The most usual route to get to Club Paradise Palawan is by plane, where you will be landing in the Francisco Reyes Airport in Buswanga Island. From there, a van will be waiting to pick you up along with other guests going to Club Paradise. After a quick 10 to 15 minute drive, you will be riding a small speedboat or a bangka to get to the resort. Now, depending on the tide and the weather, the trip can take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour or more. But don't worry, the transfer experience from the airport to the resort feels very safe and is quite fun. Fees for the van and the boat transfers are included in the resort package. During the boat ride, staff from the resort will be briefing the guests on what to expect in the resort and if there are any special activities set during your visit. As soon as you get to the island, you will be greeted by white sand, serene water, and very hospitable resort staff. You won't have to worry about carrying your bags while you disembark, keeping your check-in experience relatively and hopefully stress-free. The Club Paradise Island is quite big. Now, depending on where your room in the island is located, you will most probably be riding one of the motorized carts to get to your room. In our case, our room was located a bit far from the main activity area of the resort, which is easily a 5-minute leisurely walk along the beach, which kids will definitely love. If you don't want to walk, you can always call the front desk to request for a cart. We were booked in one of the sunset villas located here on the map. Our room had a huge cozy bed, a widescreen TV, a refrigerator, and a patio. We highly recommend booking a room on the side of the island for quicker access to some of the best swimming spots on the beach, and of course, the spectacular sunset views. During sunset, one of the highlights offered by Thai Resort is the flight of the fruit bats living in the island. Watching hundreds of bats flying across the sunset sky is a magnificent experience for you and your family. The resort has only one restaurant, the Firefish, located in the main building. Food and drinks are a bit pricey at the resort, so be prepared to spend a bit for meals and snacks throughout your stay. The selection is good with both Filipino and international dishes being offered and a lot of seafood options. However, we think food quality could be improved given the price point. Their Thai dishes and seafood options are better picks over the usual pork and beef dishes. Swimming and snorkeling are the best activities in the island. The best beach spots for swimming and snorkeling are here, here, and here. You can also chill by the beach in one of the cabanas or outer beds within these spots. Waves are very gentle and the slope isn't too steep for kids who want to swim. But if you want something a little bit more extreme, you can try kayaking or you can approach the resort staff for a guided tour to their open water snorkeling spots where you can hopefully spot sea turtles, manta rays, sardines, or sea cows along the coral reef. They'll provide all the gear you'll need. 
there are also a lot of animals above the ground. Bayawaks or monitor lizards roam the area. There are also a lot of different bird species visiting the island throughout the day. However, given the tropical weather, make sure to have a bug spray or bug repellent handy for the kids. And speaking of bug spray, you will definitely need this if you plan to explore the island. There is a hiking trail on the resort for the more adventurous families and groups who may want to explore the more secluded areas in the island, like the Hayden Beach or Eagles Point. Make sure to ask the resort staff for directions and tips before you go on your hike. Expect a muddy trail and a lot of vegetation along the way. However, this activity may be a bit too tiring for very young children. You can also take a dip in the swimming pool in the resort. The pool is split into two segments. A small one for kids and a bigger one for the adults. Be extra careful because the big pool reaches up to 7 feet deep. There's a refreshment station near the pool so you don't have to worry about hydrating every now and then. But whether you're swimming in the beach or the pool, make sure to use a lot of sunscreen. The sun can get really scorching hot during midday, especially during summer. The beach areas get quite dark after sunset, but swimming in the pool is allowed up to 9 in the evening. Overall, our stay was splendid, and we definitely recommend Club Paradise to families who love the beach. We spent 5 days and 4 nights in the resort, sometime towards the end of May and start of June. We had a bit of rain, but luckily the weather was generally sunny throughout our stay. But before we end this video, here are some tips for your travel to Club Paradise. There are no 7-Elevens or convenience stores anywhere near the island. So before you leave for the airport, pack a big bag of chips, cookies, and drinks for your family. We you should have brought more canned sodas and box juices during our trip. Bring snorkeling gear. While you can borrow these from the resort, it may be more convenient if you have your own set. Have a jacket or parka ready for the boat transfer to and from the resort in case it starts raining. We had the unfortunate encounter of heading straight into a thunderstorm during our boat ride back to the airport. It can get pretty cold for the kids. You can have coffee and hot chocolate delivered to your room before you head to the restaurant for your buffet breakfast. They serve these with pandesal. The hot chocolate is delicious. And lastly, don't forget your sunscreen and bug repellent. We hope this video helped you plan your next trip, so you'll have a lovely time with your family at Club Paradise in Coron, Palawan. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more travel tips for your adventures.